Welcome to video number 100. Today I'm going to use Omni PC to screen a weld file for flaws. So the weld we're going to do is a single V. It's 11 and a half millimeters thick, so it's a little bit of an oddball. We're going to use a 5 megahertz 32 element probe with a 0.6 millimeter pitch. That is a type 31 or A31 transducer. We'll use 40 to 70 degrees with a one degree increment. And we're going to focus at a sound path or half path of 29 millimeters. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is switch this to ABCS. That allows me to see the B scan and the C scan at the same time. If you right click on the palette and hit load, you'll see you've got a whole bunch of choices. You're looking for the word cut. The palette is divided into five sections, each with a hard cut in between them. So if you grab the top of the palette bar with your mouse and pull that down till 16% ends up around near the top, that means that anything that is 16% will be that really deep red color. Now, if you look at the C scan, you go, why does it look like that? Those gates are set around the entire weld volume in the has, which means that it's going to include some geometric signals in there, and those are going to be really loud. So that is primarily the root geometry and the cap geometry. So here's what I want you to do. Go over to the gates menu and where it says geometry true depth, change the geometry of the gate A to sound path. Let's take the start of the gate and move it up to around here. Take the width and shrink it a whole bunch. Now we're only looking at a very thin window along the weld. So what I want you to do is click on the start and slide that back and forth. And this way we can really see what's going on in the weld. If we move that just up here in front of that weld geo right there at the root, you can see anything here on the near side of the root. So I'm gonna take a piece of paper, tuck it under my laptop so it doesn't blow away. And I'm gonna write one down here at about 110 and another one at around the 200 mark. This is the point where I tell you that if you only do inspection from one side of the weld, it's going to make it really difficult for you to detect and characterize flaws that are on the opposite side of the weld. To illustrate that, I'll just slide the gate over top of that far side root geometry. So how are you supposed to find a small crack or a small lack of fusion right down there at the bottom when you've got that collision with that root geometry signal? The fact is you can't, at least not from this side. You really should be doing that inspection from the SKU 270 side. So with that being said, I did tell you that this weld was going to be easy and we can find everything from the SKU 90 side on this one. So we'll just keep sliding that gate window across the volume of the weld. There's those first two on the near side route. As we slide this a little bit further, you'll see there's a couple other little ones. There's one here at the beginning and one at the end. I'll double click on the C scan down here to the first one. You can see it's something volumetric. If we take a look at the S scan right there, it's definitely bright red. So we know that it's over 20% reference. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to guess that it's slag at this point. I don't care. I'm really just writing down stuff. I'm going to write down 40 millimeters roughly on that one. And then we'll double click the C scan again. The data cursor will move. We'll find something else in the volume of the weld again bright red so it's over our evaluation level and we're going to write that one down at around 260 millimeters keep sliding that gate all the way through we get to that far side toes signal it gets all kind of messy we can take that palette and turn that back up again there's really nothing that jumps out here again best done from the skew 270. The C scan gives us that view along the beam angle and it plots the maximum amplitude it sees, regardless of whether it sees it here or here. It's just the max amplitude. This is where the B scan comes in. On the B scan, unless we merge it, we don't see all the angles all at once, but we do get separation with sound path. So it provides us another tool that we can use for analysis. So let's do this again. Slide the angle cursor back down to the bottom. I like to click up here in the upper right hand side and just use my mouse and scroll it through and see if you can see stuff. So as we scroll from the bottom angles up, remember the low angles are going to be bouncing down here, hitting the upper cap on the near side of the probe. I don't see anything right there as I slide this up. Uh, we're going to see one right there. That's that first one we wrote down at around 40 millimeters. And uh, there's another one right there. You can see those two are the near side root. We've already written those down. And if I slide back down a little bit, you can see there's that other volumetric one right there at around 260 millimeters. So everything that showed up on the C scan also shows up on the B scan. Nothing new. 
So that's a simple technique using the B scan and the C scan, some gate manipulation and some palette adjustment to try to analyze some easy weld files. It doesn't work for everything, but it did work for this file. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and thanks for watching.